I don't know if anybody's on. Nobody is on yet. Is it live? Yeah. I should use the mouse to try and guess Oh, Lori's on. Hi, Lori. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi. Okay. When. When Michael pops on, we're gonna hit add moderator. Who's Michael? Hi, thrifting adventures. Hi, everybody. Oh, Misty just messaged me. They're saying hi to you, Gabriel. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Vintage Vinny. Hi, everybody. My eyeball's starting to water. There's Misty. Where'd you put Vinny's saying, hi, Gabriel. Hi. Yeah, would you put my color again? Probably in the fridge. Yeah, I check in there. Or it might still be by your nightstand. <laughs> They want to know how we're doing today. I'm looking at my tablet to to wait for someone to make them a moderator as well. Yep. Because I don't think I can do it from my phone. Moderator. Oh, look at all the people coming on. Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to join on my phone. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Joanne. You guys, right as I was getting on, I was putting on lipstick, and I went like this, and I didn't realize how dry my lip was, and it completely cracked, and I was like, like two minutes before, or not two minutes, I jumped on like four minutes, but right before, I have like blood on my mouth. I'm like, oh my god, nobody wants to see that. Everybody's, oh, there's Michael. There we go. See, look, we're going to make him a moderator. And if you go down, there you go. That should be good. Can I be a moderator? Yeah, you want to be a moderator? Yeah. All right. Think. There you go. I added a few people. Yo, moderator. <laughs> Ow, I can't smile. My lip hurts. Oh, yes. Michael has wrench power. Oh, you know what? Wait, wait, wait. Who else? Wait. Look, this is a little... The phone is faster than this. Here we go. Wait. Oh, wait. Hold on. Wait. It's going so fast. Joanne? No, Michelle. Michelle. Michelle's got wrench power now, too. All right. So, we have 46 people. That's not too horrible. Hi, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, my lip. So I was rushing to get this started, you guys. Look at that, Michelle. You got a wrench by you. So now you can kick out the creepy old pervert. So me moderator. Yep, Gabriel's a moderator. Gabriel's saying hi. He's the one that says, um, it says Cheeto Chill is back. But it was no spaces. That's him. That's Gabriel. And I have the black swirls on my... My eyeball keeps watering. Ah, okay. So, I don't know if I should leave this open. Everyone's saying hello to you, Gabriel. Hi. I'm going to leave YouTube things. Okay, well, don't spam. I'm not spamming. The message thing. This kid. Moderators. Are we ready? How many? I think we got enough people to okay. start. Oh, my eyeball. All right. So, Gabriel wanted to be like a co-host. And 
Misty's going to help me keep track. And, um, oh, Tenderfoot Art. She's going to help me keep track as well. So I'll go over the rules with you guys. Rules, you know. Um, so during the live, if you see something you like, it's just like in the other sales that you guys kind of go to, you would put the item number that you want. The first one on our side, like it doesn't, oh, careful. Oh. The first person on our side, and our side meeting, like if I'm standing here and I'm not the one that's keeping track, if I delegate it to Misty or whoever, it's what they see. So whatever they see that goes through first is the person that gets it. Hi, Aaron. I think I just saw Aaron pop on. Yep, not dad, Aaron. It's a different, she's a channel. Um, so then you, um, after the sale, keep track of the numbers and the things that you got. So after the sale, you'll email me at chapter2vintage at gmail.com. My, my email is down below. Um, with your name, your address, I don't care, Gabriel. I, I, don't, I don't care if you bought before, just make sure you put your name and your address because there's people with similar names, there's people that have their name doesn't match their PayPal, so just put all of that in your email. What you bought, your name, your address, and then, and then um, I will, um, like after the sale is over, and over the weekend, because it takes a while to do this, I have to go down a list. Whoever emails me first, I like open their emails, I write it all down, I look at what they said they got compared to the list in case somebody forgot something, and then we'll go from there. But it does, um, you know, take me a couple of days to get the invoices, but I would appreciate if you guys got with me um, within like 24 hours. You know what I'm saying? Like, just make sure you, you email me. Um, because there's a lot of people that might have been in line for the item that you want and you know i don't i i don't want to be mean but i can't really like hold things for weeks and weeks and especially when there's how did she get out <laughs> did you let her out the door um it's okay if she's out i just i didn't let her out um so yeah those are the rules if if it's like if you guys need a reminder um there's a lot of people that have been here before that know all right <laughs> Vinny says are you trying to nay nay in the comments it's a dance move did you do the yeah. the he did the dab guy <laughs> that's Gabriel <laughs> oh I do I'm in the garage are you kidding I need that it's not too bad in here today. It's almost 80 degrees in the garage. All right, guys. So, Misty, my, my keeper trackers, are you guys ready to, um, you got your pen and paper <laughs> ready? And I hope I didn't mess up the numbers, but I'm human, so that's just how that's going to go. So, the first item I have, oh, and by the way, a lot of this stuff almost... Almost all of it comes from my antique booth. I went and picked up the stuff from my antique booth, paid them the two weeks that I owed them, and that was it. So those of you guys that were asking about my antique booth, I got that all squared away. So that's where a lot of this stuff comes from. You might have seen it before. These might have been things that didn't sell in my um, online store, so I kind of took it over there, or some of it I might have got specifically to put over there. So we'll just get that out of the way. Okay. Um, yes, I'll be, well, maybe not. This is kind of cool. It can be like 110 in my garage, so. Um, <laughs> anyways, the first item I have is so cute. I love this little thing. Um, it is $5. It's a little trinket dish. And look, see, they're like an old elderly couple, and she's pregnant. And it says, you and your one more for old time's sake. So this is $5, and it's number 50. It's just a little trinket dish that you would sit down. Hi, Brie. Oh, Laura Bemos. It's, I look, I, to me, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Has number 50, but isn't that cute? There's no um, chips or anything like that. So, so um, yeah, 
That's number 50. Maybe Animal we'll keep crossing. a box. Animal Crossing. All right, the next thing I have, hi guys. Everyone's, hi Southern Mermaid, everyone's joining, yay. All right, so the next thing I have, these don't have their, they, they would have come with a, um, they have a little hook on the top. They would have come with a little, um, like a tree that they sat on, little amber salt and pepper guys. So because they don't have the tree, but they're still really nice and they can sit up without the tree. Um, this is, these are $5 for the pair and it's number seven. So $5 for the pair and it's number seven. I actually, I had to ask my mom. I wrote my mom and asked her before I add these to my sale, do you want these? Cause my mom loves amber glass, but it has to be like a certain color amber that she likes. But she said, they're cute, but go ahead and put them in your sale. <laughs> All right, so number seven, $5, okay? You already given up? Okay. All right, this is an item that I have this one's actually, I have two items that are coming from my eBay shop. Pretty sure only two. I'm throwing this one in there because it was super popular in one of my haul videos. I actually had someone purchase it on eBay, but they never paid. <laughs> so on eBay, I had these for a little bit more. Um, I should have checked before I got on here, but I believe these are by Starlight, Starlight Glass Company. They're hand blown these iridescent strawberries. There's four of them. And I, I kept them for a little while, but so many people love them, they're so popular. So on eBay, I have them for about $46. On here, um, these are $40 for the, for the set, and it's number 38, if anyone's interested in these blown strawberries. They're pretty big. See, they're like really big and they have really cool colors. So if no one's interested, number 38, $40. If no one's interested, I'll just leave them up on eBay. These are really popular. And I, oh, thanks, Brie. Brianna just gave us a, um, a, a sticker. Oh, thank you. With the doge, it was a doge. Yeah. So, and I, um, just, so you know that I'm fair. I priced them actually lower than some that, that sold, a couple dollars lower. So that's number 38 if anybody is interested afterwards. Those would look really cute in like a summer display. All right, next thing I have. It's been live for 13 minutes. Yeah. Next thing I have is actually this was in my gallery wall but I found something different that I liked and I replaced it um, it does have here let me cover this up <laughs> a couple scratches on the frame but you can touch those up but it's like dried flour like wheat and stuff and it's probably it's a five by seven frame um, number four and it's six dollars so it's really pretty Four. Oh, Andrea wants number four. Andrea, are you, do you have a gallery wall? I thought these were so pretty. But I found something that I, I like. I found like an oval shape of a frame. That's what I replaced it with. I felt like I wanted that, you know, that oval. Anyway, so yeah, really cute. All right, that's cool. Then this is kind of a little, um, oh, for your daughter's room? Oh, dorm room, oh, okay. This is a little blast from the past. These are a set of Garfield Christmas stickers. They're still in their original packaging. They're from 1978. It's number three, and the pack is $3. Oh, Bo you know, Bianca wants to change her room all of a sudden. She's been watching TikTokers do, I think she called it Cottage Chic or something. Oh, Southern Mermaid wants number, th oh wait, Crazy. I don't know. Missy and um, Tenderfoot will let me know what they see. But, yeah. But my daughter wants to do that, too. So, but those are cute, aren't they? What's Nani's channel called? Um, the Tenderfoot. Really? Mm-hmm. 
All right, next thing I have, Gabriel picked these, you guys. Who is that? Is that her? Gabriel picked these to put in here. Caught it. Yeah, that's what it is. She's been watching those TikToks. <laughs> she wants to see what's all about out here. So we have these three Dalmatian figurines. And don't mind this. That's just the sticker from my booth. I'll clean those off before we get, you know, we ship them out. They don't have any markings or anything like that. They're probably, in my opinion, maybe 90s, early 2000s. Um, so the set of three of them, they're different positions. And it's number 44. Number 44 in the set of three is $15. So, number, what did I say? Number 44, $15. So, that was Gabriel's pick. Yeah, but I chose that. Skippy. Uh, okay on to the next thing all right so i have this it's a pocket edition vintage scrabble game pocket edition? um yeah that just it's like like travel like you could take it in the car that sounds like minecraft pocket edition yeah i've never or not i've never ugh, the the box is open but i don't think because these are still wrapped up that it's been used hmm Oh, if you brought dogs into the house. <laughs> so we got this um, number two, and it's $4. Yeah, it would be cute for crafts. You can even save the packaging here and cut it out for, like, junk journals and stuff. So number two, $4. I want Minecraft on my phone. All right, the next thing I have is this has a couple of little little nicks in it right here but if you took a little bit because this is ceramic like brown paint like a glossy brown paint that'll disappear so and it's actually inscribed someone made it as a gift um it says june welcome june welcome to the east bloomfield harem Love Lynn, and it's February 1st, 1975. It's number one, and it's eight dollars. What was Vintage Vinny gonna say? Oh, Nicole, yeah, <laughs> it did remind me of um, Nicole. I'm watching Skeppy, yeah. <laughs> so okay so again number one is eight dollars let me put it down here all right next thing i have is i believe this is um that's all right i believe this is um folk art it's a little piece made in mexico um ashtray so you got like the guys kind of you know a little saucy <laughs> and you'd put your match sticks right here and you'd put your cigarettes right here or if you're like maybe a painter or something you could put a little bit of water right here hi guys hi christy and you could put your um paint brushes there or something but he's i'm i pr i'm pretty certain he is some a piece of little you know maybe like touristy folk art um, it's $10 and it's number 11, but just know that right on his hat has a couple of little like dings. So it's number 11 and he's $10. It's really cool. You put the little matchstick there or you can put a couple of cigarettes or something, but so he's really neat. I think I got him at the flea market with my mom. My mom has like the coolest flea market by her house. All right, then let's see, we gotta move the Dalmatians. 
I have this set. It's a Christmas thing. I do have a couple little Christmas things here. It spells the word. If you guys could see him, he is over there laying down watching Minecraft videos. That didn't last very long. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can hold them up. So it spells joy with the little angel babies and they got moons and stars and they actually hold candles. And as far as I can tell, there's no chips or cracks or anything like that. I just have to get my sticker residue off of it. Um, there's no like maker, so I'm not sure. It doesn't scream, or maybe it is. Oh wait, hold on, let me show you, see if you can see it up close. The little heart, the gold is kind of worn right in the center on a couple of them. Um, but anyways, the whole set is number 14 and it's $15. So, so it's a two for one, you know, you get the joy, the Christmas, and then you get the candle. No, they're not left in. I don't think so. And they're not, what's the other one that I'm thinking of? You know, that does all the white and gold stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm having a moment. No, not an Esco. Well, maybe, but they're not, not what I'm thinking of. Linux, that's what I'm thinking of. I don't think they're Linux. Um, I don't know. They just don't have a sticker on them. But anyways, if anyone's interested, like I said, number 14, and they're, it's the $15 for the whole set. So like five bucks a letter. All right. Leave them on the table here, I guess. Next thing I have is... This is really cute. I had it in my stuff for a while, but I swapped it out with something else, as I tend to do. Is this really cute little pitcher? It has transfer wear on it. This nice little thing. It does have a thing, handle. Um, it does, I can't feel it. Barely, barely I can feel that. Um, the spout's okay. It does have a nice old chip on the rim right there. And it's marked England. It's number 39 and it's $12. It's really cute. Look at I see her. Hi, girl. What's the matter? All right. Next thing I have. Oh my gosh, I don't remember the name of this pottery. Yeah. What do you need? I don't speak a cat. I think it was Weller's. Maybe, maybe not. I don't speak a cat. What's the matter? Um, so we Jessie. have this strawberry oof, cookie jar, biscuit jar. Um, the only thing that I see that's wrong is it I, you can, and you can get it off with nail polish remover is it looks like maybe when they were painting their house or something or their something like a uh, house paint got on it when you're and it has like a very very faint mark on the bottom um so this is twenty dollars and it's gorgeous and it's number five. What? Asking in public. What are we doing? Oh, 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 Gabriel. Hmm. Yeah. So yeah, number five is twenty dollars. And like I said, it is marked with a maker on the bottom, but it's super light. So we got that. Then we have this pair right here. This is this little set. These are li those little Lovekins things, you know, with the little the little kissy guys. You put the candles in, or you could put toothpicks. Or what I would do is I would put a little um, fake, not a fake, but like a bottle brush tree in them. That's what I would decorate them with. Um, no, oh, I don't know. They don't have a maker on them anymore. I don't think I wouldn't cover up the thingy no the stickers are gone the original stickers um but i do have another 
no, that's not the same. Never mind. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, anyways, this is number six, and they're eight dollars for the pair. And they're like really, I mean, there's no chips or anything like that. So, I mean, here, let me show you. I think this was, um, <coughs> this was just done in the painting. Like, it's a little, you know, missing there, but it's not something that anybody did. Alright. Next, I have another little Christmassy guy. This one says, Made in Taiwan. Little Santa. Look at him eyebrows. <laughs> Look at those. Made in Taiwan, no chips or cracks or anything like that. He is $4 and he's number nine. Made in Taiwan sticker. So, I got that one. All right, the next piece I have is more modern. <sighs> I can't remember. The sticker is gone, but I can't remember where they came from. But these are gorgeous. They're so, like, country, you know. There's no chips or cracks or anything. They have their stoppers. Here, let me show you this. They're really pretty. Um, this is $10 for the set. And it's number 8 So $10 for this. And it's number eight. They're so cute. All right, got that. Next, Gabriel said, "Mom, you need to get rid of these because these are these are weird. They kind of creep me out." I left it alone. I left it with my booth price on it. It's actually a bag of um, cat dolls. Let me open it up. He thinks they're kind of creepy. So we got this girl. I kind of, I had the bag as is because it needs to be put back on. So I don't know. <laughs> they are creepy. So he, there's that one. There's this one. Then we got a Christmassy one. It looks like Looks, looks like a little bellhop, doesn't it? A little Christmassy one. Yeah, they're they're ceramic. They're body, not the whole body, but the little appendages and the heads are ceramic. And then we got this one. So all of those is number 45 and it's 850. Oh, and this one actually has a Made in Taiwan sticker. So they are vintage. Actually, that one has paws. So I told Gabriel, I said, I won't even change the price, buddy. I'll just, I'll just put it on in there and see what happens. So again, that's number 45 for 850. All right. Next thing we have, actually, I think this was a pick from my mom. We went to this really cool estate sale. Um, and this is back when. She liked roosters, but I don't know if you guys seen the video where I showed her showed you her rooster collection. I don't, she wasn't correct. Co bleh, bleh, bleh. Where is the edit button when you need it? <laughs> she wasn't collecting them yet. So this was a pick because she's like drawn to roosters from her. Oops, and I put the thing on the front. Bad Alex. It's handmade. It's hand done. It's signed on the back. Eve. It's ceramic like a pottery. And that is part of my my booth sticker. So look at how cute. Right? That's what I was thinking, Vinny. So this is number um, number 49 and it's $12. And it's like 3D. Number 49, $12. Handmade. I think it's super like, is cottage country even a thing? You know what the blue, that's what it reminds me of. So number 49, 
this was a contribution contribution <laughs> i didn't think about that word for a second from bianca bianca loves um the muppet babies you know the jim henson she loves kermit the frog and she loves miss piggy um so i had found this for her but she yesterday she was cleaning her room and she was like reorganized i told you she wants to do that cottage chic thingy um or cottage core whatever they call it so she brought this out and she says mom you can try and sell this tender foot are you trying to get number 49 oh my goodness um does cottage country include the blue bow yeah you know probably the blue that's just what it takes me to that powder blue you know anyways so this is bianca's contribution miss piggy she is vintage there are a few of them listed on ebay right now for like 40 something dollars there isn't any sold so you know my loss could be your gain <laughs> but um it says made in korea and it says henson association and i want to say it says 1984 but she has like you know like minor little thingies to the white on her like you could probably wipe her up and that would come off but and this I don't oh, you guys probably can't see it I can't tell if that's like more pencil or it's the starting of a I think it got marked somehow like the paint was marked but anyways it is number 12 and she's six dollars so that's Bianca's contribution this 1980s <laughs> misty you like her <laughs> cute I, I was like Bianca are you sure I said are you just putting her in the garage like because you know she doesn't want her in her room or do you like do you want me to try and sell her and she's like you can sell her and I'm like okay but like I said there's some on there right now for like 40 bucks but you know you could try and see if you guys can resell it Next thing I have, this used to be in my kitchen. I have a, a cookie jar that matches this, but I think it's in the attic. This guy right here, I loved the, the blues and the greens in him. Um, yeah, baby Kermit. Yep, you did see it on her bed. That was actually the 1980s um, little babies that came out in the Happy Meals. Um, she has Kermit. I've forever been on the search for Miss Piggy. I remember getting her in a Happy Meal and she it was Christmas time and she had on a red velvet dress with like the white trim I remember like at the bottom of her dress and I just loved her. That was my favorite one But I've never seen her. I've seen Kermit. I've seen the little font was he is his name Fonzie the little guy But I've never seen Miss Piggy again but anyways Fozzie, that that was um that was it you had miss yeah Bree, you had miss piggy girl i had her too <laughs> so anyways this guy i i would just use i would put like candy cane sticking out of his head you could do like um you know those cute little chocolate spoons for like hot chocolate and stuff um see i only ever had miss piggy and kermit it was a it was a treat to go to mcdonald's when i was little because my mom was a single mom so i didn't get to go all the time so I didn't get to have all those toys, but I loved that Miss Piggy like nobody's business. Um, anyways, this does have some crazing in him. He's a, he's more modern. Um, I just think he's cute. I threw him in from my collection. He's number 10 and he's $6, but he does have crazing. So know that, but I just love the, you got Remember, Miss, do I remember? It was probably like 89, maybe um something like that yeah she's from the 80s it was probably like 88 89 so anyway so this is number 10 and it's he's six dollars all right i think this one this sold right the rooster trying to keep it in a separate box and I'm trying to read your your comments too because nobody's out here to show me them to read them to me
<laughs> All right, so I was just looking at the comments on my tablet there. Are they stuffed animals? Yeah, they're a little, they're probably like eight or nine inches tall. They were little stuffed animals. I mean, back in the day when I was younger, I mean, I remember getting videotapes in, I don't know if that was Burger King or McDonald's, but I got like Five O Goes West and stuff, like VHS tapes. The poop they put out now, no. My kids will tell you that. So, and I remember like getting Smurfs when I was a kid. Yes, and Barbie stuff and Polly Pocket. Yep. All right, next thing I have is, could you go over the rules again quickly? Um, yeah, so all you do is if you see an item that you like, you type the number that I, that I tell you correlates to that item. You type it in here, and I have two people keeping track for me, and they will let you know who wins. When you do, if you win, after the live, you'll email me at chapter2vintage at gmail.com. The information is down, will be down below. Um, so you'd email me and then um, you would tell me your name, your address, the items you got, and your PayPal email. And then over this weekend, um, I'll just go down my list of people who've emailed me. And by the time I get to your name, you'll end up getting an invoice with your shipping quote. So it, all these items don't include shipping. Shipping is going to be calculated in. So I, I said this last time, remember, I'm in Florida. So if you guys are over like on the West Coast, just be mindful of what you buy because it can add up. All right. So the next thing I have, this one is another thing that's actually in my eBay shop. Um, someone actually just last night offered me a best offer on it, but, or not a best offer, they, they offered me my asking price, but wanted me to overnight ship it. And I'm like, if I accept your price, it won't have the overnight shipping price in it. So I, we just couldn't come to an agreement. But anyways, this is freaking cool. This is very mid-century. This is Sunset Pottery. It's a trinket box. I mean, well, it's a big trinket box. Um, the only issue I see with it, where is it? Right here is a little chip on the foot right there. So that's how it looks. It does technically have a signature under the lid, that little gold scribble. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's Sunset, California, and it's number 13, and it's $20. So it's really cool, all the layers of paint on there. They did a really good job. So. All right. So we got that one. Next thing I have is just a little guy. Um, got him around Valentine's Day. I was gonna do it with the, one of the kids' Valentine's gifts, but I was like, um, Gabriel breaks everything. <laughs> so I didn't. So this has a Made in Taiwan sticker. It also says, uh oh, I just ripped my thing. It is 1980 Inesco Imports. It's called Lucy and Me. That's just what it says. And it's this little bear trinket box. Oh, he's back, y'all. How did he find me? Dang, man. He doesn't go to any of y'all's videos. <laughs> Actually, wait, he did find Misty ones. Anyways, this little guy right here. Um, Yeah, just remember, in, when you're watching your phone or your tablet or whatever, your computer. Yeah, I know, I saw him, Stephanie. Um, 
you're always going to show up first yourself. You're always going to show up first. And then we just have to go by what we see. Yeah, I have to I have to go to my thing and block him. Um He's still not I have to go on my thing and actually type his name in. You know, like, where you can block folks. But anyways, um, did I say this? This is number 19, and it's $4. Oh, did he? Misty, I didn't see that. Number 19, and it's $4. How cute, right? I was going to give it to Gabriel, but I was like, it's survived all these years. If I give it to him, he'll probably break it. So... There's that. All right, the next thing I have, if I don't get distracted by that person, I have this molded, I think it's a poodle, not up on my dogs, poodle candle. It's got the little, I don't know if those are glass eyes, but he's older. Um, sorry, I was reading the comments. So, yeah, so it's never been, like, he's got a little melty part on his foot. But I think if you maybe took a lighter to it, you can mold that back in place. But it's, um, $6 and it's number 17. A lot of people collect these molded candles, so I just threw them in there. Dang, he keeps popping up. Ugh, you guys need to leave it in my comments. Tell me over and over and over and over again as a reminder to block that man or that person or that alien or whoever he is. Freaking Martian from outer space from Pervertville. Leave it in the comments so I don't forget. <coughs> hmm. Yeah, I know, I have to remember that. Okay, so we got that guy, we got this guy. Oh. Next thing I have is, he is, he's a creeper. Like those things in Minecraft that like blow themselves up, he's a creeper. So I have this cute little black and gold trinket jar. I don't know what kind of flowers those are. Nicole, you might know. You're a, the flower guru. Well, maybe it's not flowers. Maybe it's just plants. But anyways, um, no, there's a tiny bit of wear, tiny bit of wear to the gold. It's not marked on the bottom. It's a little trinket box. It is number 33 and it's $8. Maybe, yeah, maybe Sakura. So it's really cute. I was actually, this again, I was going to give it to my sister. Um, I don't know why. I think I ended up getting her a frog thing. She loves frogs. But she also likes boxes, little boxes and stuff. That's why I was going to give it to her. Dogwood blossom? Maybe. I don't know. I'm horrible with flowers. Next thing I have is this little oven mitt. It's the only one. It's lonely. Ugh, you're nasty. Yes, you can be. You cannot be blocked. All right. Oh my God. So gross. Vinny, I'm going to make you a moderator so you can help. Who else? Oh, that creepy old mofo. Oof. Anyways, I have this lonely fella. What was that? Someone else? Is someone else in there? 
Why? <laughs> like, go away. Ugh. This has some, a couple of like pulled threads here. Um, it does have the original tag right there. And it does have like this teeny tiny little hole there. But it's number 32, not but, it's number 32 and it's $3. Really fun, bright colors. It's just lonely. I don't have anything else to go with it. $3. Mm, everyone reporting it. Yes. Oh, I'm going to have to make like every one of you a moderator to just choke him out. <laughs> Nasty old dude. And watch it be some like 14 year old boy. Again? for the love. Oh my God, <laughs> like, wow. Okay, I'm just gonna move on. <laughs> Next thing I have is this beauty right here. You can tell that it's older. You can see the bottom there. Um, only thing I'll tell you is it does have this here. Like, it, you can barely feel it, but it's there. Um, and on this side up here. It's this great teal color. It's number 15, and it's $14. Beautiful swan. Did I say it was a duck? It's a swan. And it's much older. You can tell. So, it's number... 15 and she's fourteen dollars it's all about the color you guys oh my gosh you know what maybe I should get Gabriel to occupy you guys for a second oh you know what hold on wait I got my tablet wait Wait, YouTube Studio. Can't I block them from my YouTube Studio? Hold on. No, I don't think I can. Son of a... Give me a second. Mom's trying to block the weird guy. A weird guy, yep. Hi. No, I'm back. Yes, mom's gone to block a weird guy. Simpson. Wow. He's already on there. All right, guys. So, sad news. He's already on the list. But apparently, YouTube allows him to do whatever he wants to do. 
But he's on there. I had to go inside and check because I couldn't do it from my tablet. So thank you guys for staying tuned with Gabriel. Hi, Fatbird Finds. I just see you hopped on. Oh, thank you, Missy. <laughs> thank you. Yes, Bart Simpson on his shirt. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so he is in my blocked person um, thing in the settings in YouTube, but he, for some reason, keeps being able to come back. I think I did it from the first time, but I just couldn't remember. All right, moving on. Moving on. Okay, the next thing I have are Fitz and Floyd. Creepy old frogs. <laughs> Frog salt and pepper shakers. Yeah, he probably is. Um, there's no, they're just, I have to clean them up from their sticker residue, but there's no chips or cracks or anything on there. And they still have their stoppers. Number 16, $8 for the pair. I know, girl, I know. Creepy, but. All right, next thing. I don't know what on earth this is. Yeah, it's probably a toad. No, I don't like frogs. Mm -mm -mm. Nope. In the summer, especially, you can just hear them. They're so loud. And I live somewhat close to like a creek. And um, they're, they'll come everywhere. And if you have like cat food or anything, like if you feed outside cats, they'll come and eat your cat food. They'll take like baths in the cat's water bowl. It's just so gross. Oh, well, yeah. anyways, I don't know what this marking is. Do any of you recognize that marking before I move on? Do any of you recognize that? Well, toads, frogs, whatever. They're both gross. Yes, we see alligators all the time. My mom saw one crossing the street the other day. She had to, you, you had to stop for it, like, yeah, stop for ducks to cross the road. Nobody recognizes the mark. All right, well. All right, so I don't know what this guy is. He's got, like, a, a Sith or a Scythe. Sith? Not a word I say out loud. <clears throat> he looks like the Grim Reaper, okay? Like a, just, just putting that out there. <laughs> he's sitting on like a piece of wood. I don't know who he's by. It kind of mimics the Yadro style. But anyways, it's number 19. He doesn't have any chips or cracks and he's $6. Yeah, Lumberjack. That might be it. The mark. He is a Grim Reaper for all I know. Look at that thing. <laughs> There's the mark. Could never find anything else about him. He didn't sell in my shop. He didn't sell. Um, don't do Florida life. Huh? Lizards? Lizards are everywhere. We pick them up and we they'll, they'll get in the house. You know, like when you open the door, they'll crawl in and we have to pick them up and bring them outside. So, anyways, number 19, $6.00. All right, next thing I have is, this is another thing that even doing like, um, uh, yeah, creepy toad farmer. <laughs> um, uh, blah, blah, blah. what was I saying? I do this a lot. Oh, even taking like a Google, Google. <laughs> oh, where's the edit button? Google image search. <laughs> Um, I couldn't find this. It's really cute. It, it keeps bringing up like precious moments, probably because of the pastel colors. Um, doesn't have a mark on the bottom. It's $12 and it's number 21. So I don't know who makes it, but maybe, I don't know. Oh, Aaron. She is cute, right? Yeah. 
I couldn't figure it out. She's got lashes for days, though. Love those lashes. All right. Next thing I have. Oh, my gosh. This reminds me of, if you guys have watched Misty's channel, which you probably have, her friend gave her, yes, the cute eyes, yeah. <laughs> her friend for, I think it was for Christmas, gave her a picture, a big, like, big picture of her cat. And it's like his head and he's on like this regal, like, prince body. And this kind of reminds me of it, even though I think this cat might be like a butler or something. But it reminds me of her cat, just all, you know. <laughs> Mr. Fluffer Pants, yeah. All right, so the next thing I had, segue into that. Um, I know I love her cat pic picture too. So cute. Okay, so this is by Fitz and Floyd. Look at that. Tell me he's not all la di da. It's a cookie jar. That is from my stickers from my booth that they make us put on everything. Um, he's actually 1988 Fitz and Floyd. No chips, cracks, or anything that I see. Maybe a tiny little bit of rubbing right there, like on the glaze, because I can feel it kind of rough. Um, but he is $20, and he is number 23. He is so, like, the snootiest, cutest cat, like, ever. <laughs> I just love it. Oh my God, it's Mr. Fluffer Pants. <laughs> I love it. All right. Next thing we have, these are kind of, if you guys like that sort of boho, natural, um, you know, you love pottery into the 70s, you know, things like that. These might be up your alley. These have an original sticker want to say it might be Polish but I'm not up on that <laughs> but it's a little like oil and vinegar little cruet set with like hand painted really cute I want to say this was another buy from my mom maybe um has a little you know a little mark on the bottom from the whoever maybe painted it and there's its little sticker with the whatever language that is um but this set is um eight dollars and it's number 24. no well i mean unless it was made in mexico and then like sold in um poland or something because that is not spanish <laughs> i can read some spanish and that is not spanish <laughs> so anyways they're cute though All right, next thing I have, I was kind of, I was asking one of my subscriber friends about this one. Um, she's really cute. I love her face. Her painting screams like made in Japan piece to me, though she's not marked anywhere. I looked under her little, her little skirt. I looked around the duck, but like, doesn't she scream like a made in Japan piece? And she's got the ducks, but so she's not marked. She's got real nice paint, but um, she's $12 and she's number 20. This might be something like amazing, but I don't, I don't know. So cute. I love the face. Hmm? Wow, my video is way behind. My, uh, let me, let me refresh it. On my tablet, I was still showing, um, Mr. Fluffer Pants. All right, so, yeah. Number 20 is $12. I'm getting distracted. All right. Some of you guys might think this is so cute. She was in my Easter, she was in my Easter display for my booth, but our items that were marked not for sale, because I just decorated with some stuff, um, She's a little handmade piece. You could tell that sh someone made her. Those eyes are everything. Her little basket. There's different versions of this. This was like, you know, your own craft pottery piece back in the day. And you just painted your own thing to them. Um, 
but I decided to to let her go she's not signed by anybody on the bottom but she's number actually she's $12 and she's number 26 there's no well no I take it back there's a couple little little dealies right there little nicks in there but so she was actually you know just a little display piece in my booth that I had to put a not for sale sticker on or she disappear so number 26 is $12 All right, next thing I, oh, next thing I have, yeah, isn't she cute, um, is one of those, those Amish, um, like, I think they're like good luck signs. Um, it has the meaning, I think, on this back piece of paper. It's a, it's a hex sign. And they're from specific Amish families. Um, this one's really cute and I was gonna I was thinking about keeping it because it has a pineapple on it and you guys know I love pineapples um, But I'm just gonna leave my original sticker on it It is number 31 and it's five dollars and it's not been taken out of the pack or anything. It has the little thing on it So really cute Ugh, the pineapple it gets me It's signed down there southern mermaid try and like go out of the video and refresh it that was my problem with misty's i tried so many times to refresh it and it didn't work for me but like she'd still be showing something and then everyone is calling a number and i'm like wait a minute she's still just showing stuff so that was uh, my uh internet was lagging yesterday all right next piece i have is mid-century um it's like a matte paint and so it looks like it has, you know, like parts that need to be cleaned, but I don't know because it has like this speckled flicking paint at it. If you could do like, um, barkeeper's friend or something, like, I don't know if it would take that off. I don't know, but it does have some, it needs like a little bit of a cleaning and it is marked on the bottom who made it and the year 1959. It's just a little bud base. Um, it's number 25 and it's $12. It does have, let's see, is that, it's not, it just has a little bit of little things right there, you know, like it just needs to be wiped down. It'll be so cute. So we got that. Next thing I have is another little swan. I don't know. If any of you know this marking, I'm just curious. I've never seen it before. It's like two Q's. Um, it's actually this pretty gray swan. She's very fancy. She's a toothbrush holder. Um, she is by whoever that is. And it's $10. There's no chips or cracks or anything that I can see. Nope, that was just some sticker residue that I can see. Let me take my tag off. That just looks like sticker residue to me. Hopefully. Yeah. Um, anyways, she's number 24 and she's $10. She's so cute. Look at those, again, with those eyelashes. Oh, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, Michelle. I think Michelle said she has an art class she has to do today. All right, next thing I have, I have some cute little, sorry for my like head right up in your face. Um, cute little spoon rests. So the first one I have, and they are Taurus gifts. Um, so this one's from Virginia. It's this cute little piggy. And that is just sticker from my shop. They make us put it on there. Um, it's a catch 22 there. You, you, in an antique booth, you, you don't want to put anything on like the actual thing because you don't want to ruin it, right? But if you don't put the tags on top, so much stuff gets broken from people trying to flip it over to see how much it costs. So that's how come I have some stickers on the outsides of some things. But anyways, 
This is six dollars and it's number 30. So a little Virginia, six dollars, number 30. All right, so we got the piggy and then we have a cute little owl. And this one is New Jersey, Atlantic City. And one of these, this one says it's by Arrow. Ugh, I got hair in my mouth. Jersey City, New Jersey, made in Japan is what it says on the back. It's got this owl. And this is $6 and it's number 28. It does, no, that's just paint. I was going to say have a little something right there. Maybe they hung it up because it looks kind of a little worn right there. Like hung it on a nail, you know. Oh, bye, B. Who's leaving? All right. I didn't see who's leaving, but bye. So, yeah, number 28 is $6. And then the last little spoon rest I have is not a Taurus piece. Actually, it's not a spoon rest. It's an ashtray. Um, but it can be a spoon rest if you want. It, I thought this at first, but it's not. It's an ashtray. So it's marked Wildwood Pottery, copyright 1951. It has a chip on the back, right? I don't, here. <laughs> right here, right there. But it's this pink floral. It's like a baby pink. See what I mean? Like it kind of looked like maybe it could be a spoon rest, but it's got the places for the cigarettes. Um, it is number 29 and it's $6. No, it's an ashtray, Vinny. I mean, you can use it for a soap dish for sure. You can use it to set your sponge on in your kitchen. So, like I have a, I follow someone on Instagram. I don't remember their name, but they posted this little cute um, slag glass. It's this tiny little planter. It's so tiny. And I was like, what do I use this for? And I love slag glass, but I don't find it a lot here. Um, so I never ended up selling it. I kept it and it's actually on my kitchen counter and it's where I put my little dish sponge But it's just like the tiniest little thing and it's like green and like marbly looking, you know But anyways, that's the story about my dish sponge <laughs> Next thing I have is Scoble West Germany. It's one of these eggs from 1984 It is $5 and it's number 17 this is another item that I had online and it never sold, so. Oh, hello. Hi, Dalton. Ah, he's my metal detecting friend. Hi, Dalton. So, yeah. Did I? Did anybody want that? Okay. So, yeah. Number um, 17 is $5. Next, I have this. Oh, I, Alex, I put the sticker on top. Oh, because my sticker was there. This is made in Japan. Um, it does have like a little chippy do right there. Um, and it does have sticker residue on the top from my sticker. But it's this little seashell trinket dish. It's $6 and it's number 28. So, Southern Mermaid, don't you do the... The nautical stuff that would be cute it can hold your dish sponge <laughs> number 28 is six dollars all right next thing i have i love this and i was like mm, do i want to get rid of it but <sighs> i can't keep everything alex all right so this is actually it says copyright 19 either 48 or 46 geranium and then it has some other like marking right there, but it's um, set of three in pink. Oh, anyways, it looks like this. And you know what? I didn't even price it. So I'm gonna price it right now. I see it written down over there on my book, but so I don't forget. All right, so this is, I don't have my Sharpie up here, I don't think. Oh, 
All right, so it's $8, right? And it's number 51. I ended up having 51 things this time. So it's from 1948 or 46. And it's a, it says geranium on the bottom. So it's number 51 for $8. I think I have this, if you guys watched my um, St. Patrick's Day, I still have all this stuff, buddy. Like right here. And then I'll be done. Um, in my St. Patrick's Day video. Mm -hmm. All right. On to the next one. All right. So this is really cute. Another thing they didn't sell. Um, yeah, Vinny's sale is tomorrow at 2 o'clock, I think you said. And Vinny's birthday was yesterday, you guys. So if you guys didn't wish him a happy birthday, wish Vinny a happy birthday. He turned 25. Oh, it's be 25 again. Anyways, okay, so the next thing I have is this. It is haul. And it's just this really cute, very mid-century lined little bud vase in this mustard yellow that is very popular. Um, it is $10 and it's number 42. It's not very tall. Let me find something, I don't know. Here's my cup. It's just this cute little thing. Hall pottery. Not hull, but hall. Oh, yeah, Fat Bird, you go live tonight, right? I gotta, like, remind myself of all this stuff. Ugh. All right, next thing I have is kind of newer restaurant wear, but still, like, cool, you know, like, 90s. Oh, no, wait, it wasn't 90s. I don't remember. I don't remember this of the Shenango Pottery, like, what year that dates it to. Sorry. But it's this little powder blue bowl with this creamy inside. Um, so, Shenango, China, Newcastle, was that, Pennsylvania. It's $12, and it's number 34, and it's not big at all. Again, it's like, it could be like a larger cereal bowl. So, and it has some tiny little, maybe cutlery marks, but I might be able, you know, like people mixing, you know to get um and it's a heavier piece so just know that um you know restaurant wear is a heavier item next thing this is another thing gabriel picked um and gabriel even told me the price you guys he told me the price on the dalmatians i was like well what do you think since he picked it i let him price it um and he picked the price for this one too <laughs> so it's this dog it was handmade um, it has someone's little HR signature on the bottom. I think I did. Oh, I saw this like, like maybe it, something banged against it at one point of time. I don't know what kind of dog that is, but well, there you go. That's what kind of dog that is. <laughs> it is $6 and it's number 46. Mm -hmm. So six dollars, number forty-six. All right. Next thing I have is this really cute. It, this is Franciscan. You know, like you would see Franciscan ivy, Francisc. You know, um, the desert rose, the apple one, that company. However, it's newer. This is like the nineties. And it's this real cute, like, golden girl pink. You know, I like that golden girlness. Um, this one is a smaller pitcher. It's glazed on the inside, so you can really use it if you want to. And it doesn't have... Wait. Oh, okay, it was cat hair. I was going to say, it doesn't have any uh, crazing. But this is um, $20, and it's number 36. for the Franciscan. So $20, number 36. It's really cute. It's got like this apple bottom. <laughs> All right. 
I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like nine more things to share with you guys. And, ooh, I've been on longer than an hour. That dude threw me off, man. That, that alien troll. Next thing I have, and I believe they work. Yes. So she'll spin. She'll spin around. They're ceramic. They, these were like another thing um, that would come in like different colors and stuff. Yeah, she's spinning. Okay. So, and they do a little kissy face like this. And it has a sticker that's made in Japan. That little sticker right there says made in Japan. And I'm trying to just look them over real quick. It looks like a like a, a speck of paint or something. Maybe someone was painting nearby and got a flick of paint at it. But I don't see like chipping or anything. I believe I got these at St. Vincent. Yeah, so they look really good. Um, so this set is 15 and she works. Remember, she works. And it's number 35, and they're made in Japan. Little kissy face, boy and girls. Hi, Michelle. Little kissy faces. All right, next thing I have, and these are kind of interesting to me. I think they are, um, it reminds me of the Gordon's Fisherman guy. Doesn't it? You know, like it's a, a sea boat captain. These I think are cool. They look like they're hand painted, you know. I mean, he's got some rad like coral lipstick on. Like that'd be a good color on me. <laughs> um, they're, I think, you know, they're, you know, handmade thing. I think. Ceramic, hold on. Ceramic something ink. Copyright 73. California, USA. So, this one says the same. So, they look like bookends, like that. Um, it's $10 for the pairs, for the set, and it's number 48. I don't know anything about these guys. So, number 48, $10 for the set. If any of you guys have fishermen in your life, all right, next thing that I have is a piece of California pottery. I can't quite make out this marking. Not sure, but I'm pretty sure that's California something something. It's this bright yellow footed bowl. I think this was a console set. Would have been on top of, you know, like a TV back in the day or a console table. Um, and it would have had maybe candlesticks. Um, but it's $12 and it's number 23 and I think I saw a teeny tiny, hold on, little chip right there. So, right. I'm going to make sure, see if that's the only guy. Is that the only one I saw? Yeah. All right. So yeah, number 23 is $12. Next thing I have is, this is another handmade piece too, but I thought it was kind of cute because it's like this cottagey country patchwork pumpkin. It's like a cookie jar. So that's what it looks like all the way around, minus the sticker. Probably the 90s, you know. But it is $12 and it's number 47. Yeah, it does, right? Like, she's all patchwork. So, I don't see any chips or cracks or anything. Oh, maybe. Hold on. Let me show you. It's real small, though. Like, right there. On the bottom. Alright. 
All right, here's a, the couple next next couple of things are they're a little bit up there in value. Um, but if they don't sell, whatever, I'll just try and list them in my shop. So let's see what we got here. Um, Gabriel picked this guy. Little unicorn water pitcher. It's glazed on the inside because you know terracotta like seeps out water. So you can actually use it to water your plants. And it's it's more modern. Like even Gabriel said, Mom, that looks new. <laughs> I'm like, it probably is, but it's cool in the fact that it's a unicorn. You know, most um, garden things are like birds or frogs or whatever, but it's a unicorn. And it is $25, no chips or cracks or anything. And it's number 39. So no chips or cracks, $25, number 39. And it's a bigger thing. All right, next thing I have is, you guys like the Keebler Elf people? Yeah, Chrissy, I think you're lagging again because <laughs> number 23 was a little bit ago. All right. You ready for this one? This one, I think it was hand painted as well. <laughs> I was just waiting to see if anybody would say anything. <laughs> He's like a little Keebler elf. So you could tell he was hand painted. So like they painted his little hat green and he probably wasn't dry all the way and they stuck it down and it got stuck to his head. However, very interesting piece. These are really cool and they're kind of, they're pretty sought after. They come in lots of different colors because people would paint them, you know. It does have like, someone put tape on the bottom probably to protect whatever surface they were sitting it on. Um, so yeah, anyways, he is $40. And, you know, you can set him out for Christmas, like a little pixie. Um, $40, and he's number 37. So, he does have a little bit of little dings. And you know what? You could get these guys and... Oh, wait, hold on. Let me show you something, too. I forgot about this. It looks like his little... This piece right here broke and they glued it back on at some point that's what it looks like to me but what I was gonna say is you can get these and you can paint them your own color you don't have to leave it I mean it can have like a purple hat if you wanted it to but anyway so number 37 40 dollars I have three more four more things I have this guy little bunny guy he does have like little spots on him um like right there where it's like some rubbing it's like they painted it but maybe didn't put a glaze and it's got dinged and stuff um doesn't have any markings or anything like that um okay so let me put this back on so he's twenty dollars and it's number 41. Yeah, it feels like that bisque stuff that bothers me. So there's the bunny. All right, second to last thing I have. I have this set of busts. They look like children. They have their original um, Napco wear stickers. And they have this old green velvet on the bottom. This guy, I just have to wipe off the back of him. I think that'll come off. 
but yeah, they look like children. Um, number, or actually, they're thirty dollars for the set, and it's number forty. Yeah, they are fancy, right? So, these would be fun to ship. <laughs> so, number forty, thirty dollars for the pair. And the last thing I have to share with you guys is this thing. Gabriel picked this as well. Um, kind of looks unfinished, but I think they meant for that to be. It is signed on the back. Someone named Jackie Parent made it in 1995. It's number 43 and it's $6. So it's pretty big, like bigger than my head. So that is it guys that is all i have to share with you um some of these things will just either stay on ebay or i'll list them you know and see how that goes it that usually happens like as soon as i show it in a video nobody wants it i put it on ebay and someone buys it i'm like but i just you could have got a like a better deal in the video like <laughs> i don't know it always happens but anyways, guys, I thank you so, so much for all my helpers. Thank you so much, for all my subscribers, for watching and making purchases and things like that. Don't forget to um, make sure you email me. If I don't get back to you right away, don't freak out. I kind of go down a list as I get the emails. Um, I write all your information down, and I, I try and match up what you say you bought to my list of things that I have for you. Um, make sure you leave your name, your PayPal, your address. That's important. I had to write quite a few people last week or last time and ask them, like, I need your address. <laughs> um, and um, the number of the items that you bought. So, anyways, I have to get, if I don't know if um, Thrifting Adventures is still watching. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Elle. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. I appreciate it, guys. Um, so, yeah. Everyone have a fun weekend. I'll talk to you guys via email for those of you guys that have bought something from me. And I'll see you guys again soon. So thank you so much. Bye.